In this video, we're going to take a look at the select units that are, are available under the controls group. So if you go to add units under control, we have these select right here. And this is what I've added to my graph. And the select units are there to help you choose the value based on some condition in your game. So you can see here that I placed him parallel with the similar branch or switch. And I already did a video about branch and switch and how they work and where to use them. The main difference is that the branch and the switch are changing what you're executing or where the flow goes. But the select units are changing the value that you're going to use in some kind of other unit. One more option that we have in the select is select on flow. And I'll show you the example how it works. Basically, if you ever need to merge two flows together, but you still want to pass a different value to some other node, this unit is the one that you would use. So right here, I have a flow graph and it's the flow graph that I used in the video too, with some additions. So I added this portion right here, the select portion, and also this portion right there, the color changing. So right here, you can see that I have a input get key. And based on if you have the key pressed down or not, the left shift button, I can use the select node to switch between which value I want to use for translating in the Y direction. So if I have left shift down, the Boolean input will be true. And the value for true, I have set it to 50. So it's going to move 50 units when I have left shift down. And if the left shift is not pressed, then I'm just going to move by five units, which is what we were doing before. So that's one use of select node. And you can see that I used left shift here. This is an approach that you can take when you're moving your character and you want him to switch between walking and sprinting. By using a select node, it makes it easy for you to change the speed of your character. Now right here, I have another select unit and it's a select on flow. So when I was demonstrating how to use the switch on Inum, we split off what we want to do for a right mouse click and the left mouse click. Whenever I click the left mouse button, we translate. So we move by five units. And if I click the right mouse button, it's going to rotate by 30 degrees. And that's a demonstration of using the switch. Now, after I did these movements, what if I want to merge those flows together and continue executing the same code? So I could have just connected directly to the same set color if I want to use the same color. But if I want to use a different value or different color based on which flow I came from, I can use this select on flow and it will allow me to select a different value or a different color that I can use when I merge these two flows into one. And in here, when I come from translate, which is flow A, the value that I'll use for flow A is green. And if my flow is from rotate flow B, then the color that I'm going to use is red. And I can continue the flow, set image color, pass in the value from this select unit, and this should give you this kind of interesting function. So let's jump into the demo and see how that actually works in the demo. The same demo that I used before, except now we added the functionality for listening for the left shift. So if I hold the left shift down, you can see that it moves by 50 units and it also changed the color to green. Now, if I release the left shift, you can see when I click, it moves just by a little bit and the color is still green because I'm using the left mouse button right now. Now, if I click the right button, you can see that it rotated and changed the color to red. Let's take a look at that again. So rotating and red. If I click left mouse button, it moves and turns green. If I click right button, it rotates and turns red. Hold down shift, click left button. It jumps by 50 units. So there we go. That's a quick demo and just an example of where you can use the select nodes and what is the reason for their existence. Again, we have five types of select units, select on Boolean, select on string, select on integer, select on enum and select on flow. And the select units are there to help you select the value that you want to use. Similar to that, we have the branch and switch units. 
except we have four of them. So a branch, it switches on a Boolean, and then we have a switch on string, switch on integer, and switch on item. Now, this is a lot of units that we have here. And in C Sharp, it's not actually as complicated as here. In C Sharp, there is mainly two types of selection statements. So either you use a if else statements and they're equivalent to the branch on Boolean and select on Boolean, or you can use switch case statements, which are all of these right here. There's also an inline select statement, but it's just a way to write an if statement in one line for selecting the value. And I did show an example of it when I did the tutorial on first person control. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button and I'll see you in the next video.